Hey guys, Zach here. The response to this build has been so overwhelming that even though it's 30 degrees outside and we just got a foot of snow, I think I owe it to you guys to get back out there and really take a look at this oil so we can get it all cleaned out, get the rest of the motor cleaned out, and get this thing ice racing. So in the previous episodes, we noticed a crazy ticking noise coming from the motor. We hoped scraping out what we could and cleaning the inside of the motor with some diesel would help loosen everything up and allow the oil to flow. But even after all our excitement of finishing the project and starting the car, we're still left with this terrible clicking noise. So here's our noise baseline for the motor. And remember, this is right after a fresh oil change and new filter. The motor doesn't sound too healthy, right? We didn't think so either. So we decided to open up the oil filter housing and take a closer look. And what we found was just nasty. Brand new oil that looked like honey five minutes ago was now this thick brown sludge. And there were also chunks and flakes of old oil everywhere, and the brand new filter was completely clogged. We know we want a good running reliable car, but now, even just idling gives us an oil warning light. And if we don't come up with a plan of attack for this oil problem, this motor's not going to last long at all. Now, even though it's really cold out, our plan is to bring the car up to temp, drain, and strain the oil several times until we can see the major flakes of oil are gone. And with some more seafoam solvent, we're really hoping to break down the rest of the gunk inside the motor. With our workshop cleaned and ready, we're putting the car up on ramps. All right, so now with the car jacked up, we know how bad this oil is. It's got bits of flaky, black, whatever left over inside. So what I've got, I've got a catch pan here. I'm gonna drain all the oil out into it, let it drip, drip, drip. And then I've got a nice clean jug right here and a funnel. And we're just gonna use some coffee filters to try to filter out some of this black material. And with the temperature dropping, I thought being underneath a warm car sounded like a pretty good idea, but I was totally wrong. The warm car was just melting snow and ice on me. So now not only was I cold, but I was wet also. Anyway, we let all the oil drip out that we could, even leaving the catch pan in place and adding more oil to the filler in hopes of flushing out anything stuck to the bottom of the oil pan. And although you can't see it in this video, the last few drops of oil were actually chunky. With the oil draining out, now it's time to remove the oil filter. As you can see, there's tons of black flakes trapped in the filter. And the oil that's remaining in the housing is just nasty too. So next up was to filter the oil through the coffee filter. As you can see here by the film that's sped up 400%, things didn't go so well. So off to the hardware store and $3 later we had ourselves a set of paint strainers in medium mesh variety. The straining process was much faster than the coffee filter and as a result we were wondering if we had chosen the wrong mesh weave. We actually didn't know if it would catch anything at all. But then when we looked at the bottom of the filter, a closer look revealed the bottom portion of the strainer was completely clogged. And this is after letting the oil sit for about 20 minutes while we went to the store. The filtered oil then went through another new strainer and back into the motor for another cycle. We repeated this cycle several times using new strainers each time. And while we're at it, we took time to clean off the oil filter housing cover also. And as you can see here, it's still filthy. With everything as clean as we could get it, we're going to be upping the dosage of seafoam. Now, the ratio calls for one pint per 10 quarts of oil. And as you can see here, we were very scientific. But before we button everything back up, take a look at the strainer from the last cycle we did. Can't really say it looks a whole lot better from when we started. I mean, there's still a ton of stuff floating around in this motor. But with attempts almost in the teens, we decided to throw in a new filter and call it a day. And with all this in the motor, let me know in the comments below how long you think this motor will last.
Now for the results. Here's the same video of the car right after we finish the build. And a video from today. What surprised us is even with 30 degree cooler temps, there's no ticking noise at all. And better, no oil light even with higher revs. Here's a little exhaust preview for you guys. As always, let me know what you guys think below, and thanks for watching.